as an entrepreneur my mindset has been whether you have funding or not let every dollar let every rupee bleed you it should hurt when money goes out so bootstrapping mentality needs to be there even when you get funding right as an entrepreneur for the company you can spend wherever there's need but for yourself don't go like i have to buy the ferrari right now give it a little bit more time maybe a couple of more startups right and so don't be selfish just like a mother sacrifices for the baby see your company as your baby and actually look out for that baby let the baby grow then the baby grows you will be pulled in anyway when children grow up they take care of the parents hopefully good children so your startup will take care of you and your needs and your dreams but focus on that first one of the things about being an investor or an entrepreneur you should be able to predict the future now you're not god but you at least have to have the skills to be right at least more than 50% of the times only then you're profitable otherwise you are in the red so there's a lot of things that are there alibaba for example jack ma as an individual or his seven people they were brilliant and they still are so if you can understand that putting my money here this will grow this man will do it or this woman will do it that's something it cannot be taught to people it's there it's an instinct and everybody is a mentor <laughs> anybody who's read a book think and grow rich is a mentor right so you need to find out people who have who is where you want to be yeah. who ha- who has been where you are right now if you have no money that mentor should have been in a place where he had no money and he is where you want to be revenue wise industry wise and there are different mentors who help you in different ways absolutely not just one mentor there's somebody who can help you with money management somebody who helps you with uh, negotiation law accounting right different things in a business so you need mentors for all those things it saves you time it's funny story there was a company in uh, Ch- uh, rachi and they were doing a very simple business i said dude this is very there's no barrier to entry anybody can do it what's your competitive advantage he said mu tod denge i said what do you mean he said hum cm ka relative hai so I'm, you know if somebody tries to do anything mu tod denge koi nahi kar sakta i'm like okay from business perspective that's a barrier to entry right so so uh, <laughs> but but the point is that there is valuation comes from you know an investor is uh, is not like a bad thing but the investors are not always bad people who are here to steal your ideas yeah. but no, no. understand this investors have the resources to do exactly what you're doing if it's a good idea so you have to give them something that will be like hmm if i do it it'll take me 6 months but you've already done that hard work so if i put money in you you can do, launch in the next 3 months makes sense to invest in you right so that's the valuation part then i value your company like you're saving me 3 months time that's the valuation i'm giving you and then you negotiate and you make it there's no science to it there's no science there's no science to it let me tell you a secret it's all about negotiation selling and whatever perceived value it is you might think the investor has the money so he has more say he needs you as much as you need him or her the reason why is money doesn't grow in the bank startups on the other hand highly likely you know though risky but still money grows so they need you as much as you need them so you should negotiate as much as the investor should negotiate and come to a point where you feel comfortable and they also feel comfortable you watch my ted talk it's a called courage of relationship because money is just a value right if i give you money you might give me the bottle but if i'm nice to you you still might give me this bottle right or wrong <coughs> right so it's i i don't see it is or i don't see it like seed funding versus uh you know uh, investment it's about creating value and it's about what currency what you have that you use if you have rich parents sure go right ahead use some money but i'll tell you but what i have learned my seven businesses that i have done i've never been the first investor i believe in getting other people's money in the business first or their value or their input and then because my ego is strong right entrepreneurs we are narcissists kind of proud so so what happens is when you are proud you were like my idea is the best idea damn it who's there to say no but if somebody else is taking out their wallet and saying i'm putting my money in well i think I, there's value to it then there's a validation right there always a good idea to have a co-founder that co-founder is an investor because he's giving his time time is the most precious value that one can put in maybe a mentor who can guide you right 
may be a person who is uh, a little ahead of you but still in a startup who you can learn from their mistakes they're all investors in your business who would somehow or other connect you with the right resources maybe a lawyer maybe a designer maybe a developer maybe an incubator right and they're all investing in your company so you cannot do anything alone you need people's help and so how you see it is up to you but i don't like to say capital is just money from my life what i've learned is start with zero money grow with your clients money and scale absolutely. with your investors money absolutely because I'll, i'll break it down for you start with zero money meaning initially you don't need much money to create a product you can have a cardboard with a screenshot of your phone and how the app works a video a 3d print out zero money you can learn it on youtube if you don't know how to do it right then clients money get some client somebody dad's friend you know somebody uh, your best friend's father something let them pay you a little bit some validation is coming now you build you test you learn and you know okay this is not right but this is right this is working this is not working and you find a path then you have some validation now you have a story to tell now go tell everyone about it that i have this phenomenal idea and i've already tested it with real people's money to scale that then get seed funding and you know government funding and all of that and one thing to warn you we are all uniquely gifted by god right I might be doing something in the movie industry you might do something in the healthcare industry just because healthcare industry is getting more funding that's the job mentality just because there's more IT jobs go study engineering how many bengali uh, you know kids i am a bengali so i know this you're either a doctor or a engineer or you're dead right that's how it works in bangla families and that's wrong so in business let's shift that mindset into what is it that your skills are your passions are combine the two your skills become the product evolves into a product your passion evolves in the market put two together you'll have a business that you will enjoy doing with end of the day it's about having fun thank you for watching this video if you need more help you can use the number in the description to book your meeting or mentorship just call or dm on whatsapp to book your slot